Wakey, wakey. Wake up, son. Maurice, it's Sunday. Yes, mom, and I need more sleep. Look, you need the Lord more, Maurice. Come on, get up. We we'll leave the church in 30 minutes. Okay? Mm. Maurice! Mm. Don't you know you need your Sunday Sunday dose of the world? No, mom. I'd rather be I'd rather be left alone this Sunday. Not today, mom. Please. Please, mom. Can't go this the chance have anything to do with you and Dorothy speak. Mom. And why is my tab with you? Where is yours? Something happened to it. Brilliant. Save the details, eh? I do not want to hear a word of it. And... Moving forward, I don't want to see your mind again, okay? Mom, now... And why are you not dressed for church? A friend invited me to a church program. Oh. Where? Within city limits. Don't be smart with me, young lady. I asked again, where? Couple of estates away. Make sure you're back before I do. Okay. Who has been feeding you in on Dorothy and I? Sources, my dear. Mom, I know you. Good. Discussion over. Now get ready while I go and scream and frost your father's new jester to make breakfast. Mom. What is your source? Is he he or is she? When one has been married to an ex-intelligent general for as long as I have, one tends to have a hack for keeping the identity of the resource person confidential. Mm. Mm. Okay, mom. So um, you have you you don't happen to have had one on one with Dorothy in the past twelve hours, have you? Have you? Have you? You give me so much credit, my dear son. How could I? I don't even have her phone contacts. Mm. What? What does it matter anyway? The water has finally found its level. My darling, Dorothy, it's not good enough for you. So, move on. Okay? Ah. <sighs> The coffee are just so weak. Ah, devil is a liar. I must go to church. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Who is this handsome young man I'm looking at in my parlor? Hmm. Oh. Most of the credit goes to you for allowing me to be me and not someone else. How sweet and romantic. Thank you. Mm. Sweetheart, how I desperately wish you can extend the same to Maurice. How do you mean? What exactly are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Just allow the young man to find his way 
on his own. I would love to, but... Julia, mm -hmm. give it a shot. It's not difficult. It's not. Please. Sorry, I can't, dearest. No. Morris needs ladies with right pedigrees around him. So that at the end, when he settles down to marry, he will marry right, just like his elder brothers. I'm not getting to No. Mm -mm. Let's get ready, I don't want to just this on my show. I ask is that is not an answer, Dorothy. I ask a straightforward question. You can manage a simple yes or no answer, can't you? Yeah. Hello? Hello? <laughs> this is a first. No, I do the dumping here, not the other way around. Could it be that I am becoming too slow? <sighs> and where is the apple of your eyes? We are running late for God's sake. Relax, it is coming. Ah. It's not like you're the cat case. Sometimes when you talk like oh, this. Oh, I... there he goes again. Please. But why can't you come in his own car? No, that's too risky, please. Risky? Yes. Morris attended primary and post primary winter schools. And how does that stop him from opting to stay at home instead of coming to church on a Sunday? Tell me. Let him come, please. Cut the lady some slack, will be. What if I cut a deal with you? You should be having this conversation with your brother, Gloria. I'm not interested in any deal. I'm putting in 30 percent. Then Bear is chipping in with 10 percent. No thanks to you, bye. Hello? Come here with me. <laughs> ah! Look, you need Jesus. No, mom, I need more sleep. No, you are going to get as much rest as you want when you attain the age of 80 and above. Wrong. That's when I'm supposed to be preparing for marriage. Ah, like I told you, it's 100, mom. You are not serious. <laughs> Stop with me. You are not mm. serious. Come here. Now, mm. get into this car by this meat or I murder. Mom, what's the another man? Get into the damn car right now! Mm, is that it? Okay, okay, mom, I'm, I'm going. No, 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 not see you. Let's go. Thanks, Auntie Gloria. Thanks for trying, though. You need the device to prepare for your exams, right? I guess I'll have to do without it now. Who you want? Um, I have a way to make your mom see reasons. Are you game? I love Morris 
so much. Why it hurts me that he could lie to me. He could lie to you? Yes, mom. What do you mean by that? His mom called me and told me that he's very sick. His mother? Yes, mom. Called you? Yes. And said that Morris is sick? Yes, mom. My angel, you know I am a mother. Morris is not sick. Come, he's sick. His mom can't lie over such a very delicate issue. <laughs> okay, if you say so. That's no problem. But all I know is that Morris is not sick. Because she doesn't want you to be her daughter in law. That's why she's telling you all that. Mm, I don't think so. Okay. So who is on board now? Mm -hmm. His name is Rob. He's Morris's friend. Rob or Roba or whatever you call him. Mm -hmm. Morris's friend? Yes, mm -hmm. Can't you go out there and get good people? There are a lot of good guys over there. Why Morris's friend? That's why I told you. When you say that, Morris was your love, your everything. Because you don't know the meaning of love. If you know the meaning of love, you won't gamble with it. Hmm? It's okay. But all I know is that you will marry Morris. I can't marry Morris, Mom. He's sick. Okay, I've had you. I've had you. I've had you. I've had you. in this Lagos, the only person that you choose to be your love is Imelda. Yeah, because I love hey. her. Hey! 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 So you, she did not tell you? Tell me what? Imelda is an epilepsy patient. You didn't hear? Ha! Your mama born you. Yes. I know one born to keep for your mama. Why not? So she moved there and said she don't come out her belly. Ah. Her womb. Everything where there this room, she don't come out. And her boss shown me. How dare you tell my guy wrong things about me? Ah! Oh, stop this now, was it? You better. You slapped me? Yeah. And I will do it again. I told you I will do it. Please leave her. I told you I will do it with you. I will. I will you see. Please don't touch me. What is it? And you believed her. So you slapped me. Yes. I, I don't blame you. You can take over her. Really? Yes. Get out of my house. After all the love we share together. I don't want you. So baby tell me why you wanna run away yeah. Tell me still this love no go fed away So baby tell me why you wanna run away Whoa. I promise you this love no go fed away When did you get here? Two hours ago. What?
Young woman, how was the church program you invited to? Uh, welcome, mom. Oh, I see. You're not a big girl, eh? And you believe you're free to decide when to go to church? I want to tell your mom your, some funny stories. Uh, sweetheart, I actually met her on her way back. Sorry, on her way out. <laughs> um, you, know, you know how helpless she can be whenever I'm around? So, um... That's I asked her to stay back, you know. <laughs> That's the weakest lie I have ever heard, Gloria. Oh, really? Okay. Let me spin another storyline for you. Stop it, Gloria. Stop it! Look, young woman. You and I are going to have a sit-down talk over this matter. Do you understand me? Oops. Oh, my God, I was going out for lunch. Mom. You conspiring, conspiring, two-faced woman. <laughs> I'll take it to be a yes! Son, lunch is ready. I've lost my appetite. Oh, no problem. Um, I'm sure you must have misplaced it somewhere around here. Anyway, try to retrieve it and meet me downstairs in five minutes. Mom, I'm not excited about what you're doing. You'll come to thank me for that yet, sir. <laughs> Mom, see, Mother, I would prefer you just let this arranging thing go and, you know, sit back, take a, a, a deep breath and watch me bring back home my type of woman. My dear son, tell me, so far, so good. How many of these your so-called type of a woman girlfriend have I met so far? Three? Four? Six? Mother... Look, one thread runs through every one of them. The thread screams. Low spa. Look, darling. If I say I know you, I also know the best for you. Look, Morris. Trust me, I really do, okay? Mother, this is my life. And I run your life. Oh, yes. Lunch, downstairs, five minutes. Hello there. This is Martin Dabarit. Yes. Oh, please stop. Ah, stop. I didn't call for you to be apologizing again. Uh -uh. That's okay. I'm okay, okay? All right. Good. Um, now, my dear, there is this little tiny intestinal favor I'll need you to do for me. Oh, you're just a darling. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. My dear, I want you to have a dinner with my son, Morris. Hello, Ruby. Are you still there? Hello? What's this now? Ah, it's not foul now. Let me blow this thing. Is it by force? What? Can you just pause that game for a second? I can't, bro. I'm winning. Check. No, thanks. <clears throat> Brother. 
Where are you off to, bro? Anywhere far away from you. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, uh, you have your bro's undivided attention now. By the way, you look... Uh... Oh! Greg is in the building! <laughs> That's the song. <laughs> And become a widow. You can never be my posture. You can never be a widow. You will never be my posture. I cannot marry him, Molly. I cannot. That's what I'm saying. I cannot. You will marry him. I'm not. So all what I did is a waste. Are you not telling me that? Mommy, Morris is not fine for you. He's sick. He's sick. Morris is well. I am not marrying him. My pastor said that Morris is well. Mommy, I'm not marrying him. Mommy, I don't marry Morris. I'm not marrying Morris. I'm not marrying Morris. I will not marry him. Get my grandma, Morris. But you are marry mommy. Mommy, I'm not getting married to him. I'm not interested. Yes, mommy. Is that what you're saying? Yes. You will marry mommy. Then go inside and sleep. I said go inside now. Inside! This is a meeting zone and not a snoozing zone. Rubbish. Ah, Hi, boss. Hi, there, you, there you are. Hmm. For your sake, son, hmm? I hope you are not drunk. Oh, come on, Pops. You train me better than that. Anyway, it's good you're here. I, I have great news. Suddenly, I am suspicious. This weekend, you're going to be having dinner with Ruby Nelson at the Meriden restaurant by six. I have taken care of the bills and the reservation. All you need to do is just show up and have great fun. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. My ear suddenly fails me. You did what? I don't know how loud this old lady to sweet talk me into this. Auntie, I... That was a rhetorical question, Gloria. You didn't expect her to say anything. Like I care? Just admit it for once you like this guy. Yes. Okay. I take back my words. You admire him. More track from you and you'll be out of that door in a second. Whatever. <laughs> At least just admit it, this guy is attractive. In a dark sense. <laughs> Whatever huh? sense, it doesn't matter. What matters is you need a man in your life. 
Get out, Gloria. You need a man in your life. Life is not all about walking yourself to bed. Creating wealth, doting over your daughter. You need to leave. Come on. I need to leave? Yeah. I live well. I live good and you know it. To the best of my knowledge, you've only been with one man. Okay, we're done with this Hi. conversation. Young woman, not so fast. Why not have a dinner with this dashing young fellow? If at the end of the day, you're certain you hate him like recession, then... Ah, I detest him with a passion. Mm -mm. No, do I love with him? Come on, mother. How can you even fathom the idea of arranging a dinner date between me and that? That, that pretty woman. Devil! <laughs> Ruby is the best for you. Mom, you guys are pushing my buttons and I... And stop the drama, my darling. Ruby is a great lady. Look, you'll come to adore her. I hope the people at Meridian refund money because there's no way I am going to be at that dinner, whatever. <laughs> You are going to be there, son. Trust me. So stop mouthing off. Your dinner is in the microwave. Go freshen up. Mm. Dad, you're not saying anything. What do you want me to say? You are saying that you will not be there. Of course, I, I don't want to be there. The mother determined that you should be there. Oh, yes, yeah, you must be there. Is that both of you do not listen to each other? Look, I am his mother. I gave birth to you, son. Oh, yes. At every turn, you can go to bed, close your eyes, and have a sound sleep. Assure that I have nothing but the best of your interests at heart. So when I tell you to jump, all you need to do is just ask me, how high, mom? You jump, I applaud. That's the only way the family bond is strengthened. Oh, come on. Mm. I have made my position on this matter crystal clear. Ask for refund while you still can, because I will not be there under any circumstances. I will not. And mother, you make me look pathetic. How good. And I don't like it. Don't worry, sir. You have me to think. And for. mother. <laughs> don't get to dinner. Mm -mm. But that will. Oh, dinner with Ruby. Are you leaving? Oh, yes, I'm leaving. All right, take I'll care. I'll come back later. Okay. All right, take care. Okay, bye. Bye. And listen, you just have to calm down. Okay. Don't bother yourself much about issues like this. My dear friend, I just feel very bad concerning this moral sickness, and I know I understand how you feel. But you have to calm down. Okay. Just pray for him and listen. Let me tell you my mind. Mm -hmm. Like my mind is. In the future, you guys are going to get married. <laughs> and I'll have the opportunity to be a ship. And Maurice is this sick. So how on earth is that going to happen? Come on, you don't know. Things happen. Like, do you know I'm sick? <laughs> I knew you were sick. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, you don't have to. It's going to be fine. All you have to do is just pray for him. I'm not a reverend sister, but I'm a vice. Oh, okay. Okay, let me see you after the gift. Okay. Don't worry, come on, my I will. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Don't make that call if you're not sure of what you want. That's what leaves me caught here, eh? How do I tell that sweet old lady that I cannot carry out what she has done to be a tiny little favor? If you really don't want to, you should have a way of sending words to her. Oh, I took to her so easily, eh? She reminds me so much of my late mother. The light-hearted, poor, gentle soul. Go with the flow. Have dinner with her handsome son. Babe, come on. Dad, all 
I'm asking is that mom should give me a breather. I'm on top of the non situation. And it's not like I'm Metisel, I'm just 31. The young always believe they will stay young forever. That, that's not the point. So, what is the point? Max got married at 26 and Manny at 28. That, that. And your mother arranged spouses for both of them. Are you telling me that your brothers are not happily married? That, that's not the point. So, what exactly is the point? I don't like Ruby Nelson, period. Ah. Your mother is not asking you to marry Ruby Nelson. She just arranged an all expense paid dinner for both of you. I mean, I, I don't see any harm in you going along to do, I mean, following her idea. The thing is that both of you split hairs almost about one thing. This time. Not really, but I. Uh... You can sleep on my bed if you want to. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. You should go to bed, you know? You know you're starting your job tomorrow. Mom will be fine. Are you sure? I'm come to think of it. Why don't I lay with my darling and make sure she goes to bed? I like that very much. Okay, then just move. <laughs> come here. Come, 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 come. Wow. Welcome to my room. Away from that which you call your aunt. Thank you, Victor. But whose room is this? It's mine. Okay, it's my father's compound, and as the first son, this room is mine. I don't, I don't think hiding here is a good idea. I don't think so. Come on, what are you talking about? This is my room. No one comes here to check on me. The other members of my family are in their rooms. Now is that 
Let me have my way. I promise I'm going to be gentle with you. Get your filthy hands off my body. I know your wives are in their rooms. I will scream if you don't get out of here. You scream? Oh, go ahead. Scream, shout, shout. like this. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling feverish. I also feel like vomiting. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> we see. We see. Like you didn't enjoy it. When they were doing it. You do not enjoy it. You opened your leg and they went in and now you are saying rape. Rape, rape, rape. Who knows if it's not even you that carried yourself to them to go and do it. And now I'm, I, I, I'm carrying something that I, I, I do not know. Because I want to help you. Every time. My leg, my hand, my tummy, this one, that one. Help yourself. Help yourself. I'm very angry. Oh. You see this game I'm playing? They are already beating me in the game. I'm angry. Take your time. Don't disturb me with your complaints in this house again. Did I do bad to help you? Is it a bad thing to see somebody and help somebody? In my own house, I will not have peace. I beg, oh. I beg. This is my game. Please, please. They are killing me and I'm not happy. I'm not happy about that. Where do I go from here? Lord, have mercy. Why am I going through all this? God, why? Why? This pain is too much for me. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this punishment. Oh, mom. I wish you were alive to see what I'm going through. Hmm. I'm hungry again. How do I tell my auntie? I need to hold to her with my feet. I can't face this hunger anymore. I can't. No. I can't. I'm hungry. You're hungry. You just ate two hours ago. Oh, I'm not pregnant. I need to eat. Did I get you pregnant? 
if you know you must survive in this house because I work very hard for my money. Go and clear that bush. Go now. This girl, you are so lazy. If I was this lazy, you can't have any food to eat in this house. So you have to clear that grass. And when I come back, if you are not through, no food. I'm going out. Well, you know, you know I'm pregnant and I need to eat something. Did I get you pregnant? You have to walk. I, I, I only decided to help you. I'm going out now and before I come back, make sure you clear that place before any food in this house. Or you just go to bed without food. I'm going out. My dear, you clear that grass. Till I come back at six. If it's not cleared, you go to bed without food. Bye bye.
buy all this for free. What, what am I going through all this stress? Why, why, why me, God? What have I done? I wish my mom was still alive. I think I need to take my life. I need to kill myself. I need to kill myself. Right now, listen. This baby is here. You want to have a sad baby? You want to have a baby that will come to the world and be sad all his life? Okay, I'm sorry. Prebab, I don't do anything that is making you downcast. I'm sorry. From my heart, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. And I promise that I'll see you through with this pregnancy till the very day you give birth. And this child's gonna make you laugh someday. The child's gonna put a smile on your face. There's nothing to regret. Alright? All I need from you right now is to be strong. Be strong. Be strong for the baby. strength to carry through the pregnancy. So there's no need for tears. For my own part, I will see you through the pregnancy. Is it food? I will help with food. I just want you to be strong and to know that what you carry inside of you is joy. Because they bring there's this kind of joy children bring to you. I'm talking from experience. So be calm and be a good girl. Just manage here with me. But now, I, I know that someday this little child inside of you will take us to mansion. Because I know it won't be well with you tomorrow and you will not remember me. Yeah, the, the, you will surprise you someday, that child. I mean it. Because I've experienced it. So that child will make you proud. Just be good to yourself. Okay? There's no need to cry. Crying every day won't help you. It will only bring you down. And you won't have the strength to carry through the pregnancy. So stop crying and pray more. Okay? on my own speed. I have got you. And that's perfect by me.
nothing. I heard you screaming. It's nothing. You sounded angry. I am not angry. Mom, your phone is ringing. Mosquito, let's see, I don't stand new version of Calabar Carnival for Carnival for my body last night. Too. See my body. I asked you to go inside last night, but you refused. And you leave me. Yeah? So, so you don't know, feel help me solve the solution and save me for myself. Huh? After all, we'll be, brother, we'll be like brothers. So. Hey, I know my brothers. No, no matter your status or, or your rank, even if you, if you be khaki copra. Even boss stopped out. I'm by myself. We did the same side. Go inside now, Pontius. Now, Why you still have legs? See? Now, what do you think about you? Do you like you're a tragic person, sir? Ah! I, I, I know my right, too. I, I know my right. I know the constitution. I'll be citizen for this. Last week, I'll go, sir. Hey, don't! Forget it. <laughs> cool down, bro. Cool down. See, where I come from, how you skin a rabbit is of no consequence. Yeah. What matters is skin the animal and have it stewing in the pot. Oh, come on. I mean, you can't tell us that scoring Ruby Nelson has never ever crossed your mind. That's not the point. <laughs> come on, the score is a score. That's it. <laughs> not when the build up is contrived. I'm... Ah, beggy. Ah, beggy. Leave matter. It doesn't matter. See, if my mom arranged your hot tea like Ruby Nelson for me, bro, <laughs> I'll be all over her in a week of an eye. Me too, bro. Listen, <laughs> with what Grapevine says her company is worth, I'll jump on her like a mink without a cane in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, for you, it's about the money. And you, it's about the lost. <laughs> What a wonderful friend I have here. Oh, we love you too, bro. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> I like that. We love you, bro. Sorry, sis. I, I had a talk in with um, the engineers brought in to fix the connectivity challenge you had all through yesterday. Um, so what brought um, my daughter's godmother around? Why did you cut the call on me last night? Call on you? I didn't cut the call on you. My battery ran out. Honest truth. <laughs> Why would I tell a lie about something that is as straightforward as this? 
say, cut that out, okay? Um, so what were you talking about yesterday? I was a bit drowsy when your call came in. Your battery ran out. Too bad. I am not one given to reputation. Since when? What's that? <laughs> wow. A new tablet for your goddaughter? Thank you so much, you darling. You owe me 50% of the costs. Good. Hey, hey, wait, it's actually lunch time. Why don't you do lunch? Nope. I'm feeling drowsy before my phone battery runs out. <laughs> Why like this? Ah. Good. Wanna hold you tight, kiss and love you, make you feel alright, baby. Oh, oh, sweet like a sugar. Every other day, me could love you like a brother. I'ma lean on you, I'ma take you like my mother. Me and you, we go sweet like bread and butter, baby. Oh, my butter, me could love you like my mother. Hey, yeah, my sister, so love me like your brother. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. 